One area that I'm particularly interested personally in open source for is I want an open source model that is as good as it can be that runs on my phone. OpenAI has introduced a new reasoning model that shows a big improvement in what AI can do. This model, called O3 Mini, is different from regular language models because it focuses on tough reasoning challenges. It's really good at tasks like analyzing scientific data, putting research together, solving problems, improving and fixing code, and automating processes. There are several different versions of the O3 model, just like the O1 model family. The O1 based model is the most powerful one, but it needs a lot of computer power to run. On the other hand, the O3 mini is a smaller version that is designed to be more efficient in terms of performance and cost. While the O3 mini gives up some features to use less computing power, it still keeps the main ideas for reasoning. The O3 mini model became available to everyone on January 31, 2025. When it was released, OpenAI introduced three different types called O3 Mini Low, O3 Mini Medium, and O3 Mini High. The low, medium, and high labels show how advanced the reasoning is. The O3 Mini High has the most advanced reasoning, but it takes longer to produce results. Doing a test on how its reasoning works, these are five prompts that you need to try for further confirmation. So I think that's really the power of open source, right? We see basically a growth of almost more than 30% of downloads day to day, which kind of is a testament to all this ecosystem that is already starting to build around the The five prompts you should try. The first prompt that we'll look into is giving AI the specific knowledge and subject of what you want it to write on. When you clearly state the specific knowledge and subject you want, you'll receive thorough explanations that simplify complicated ideas into easy to understand language. You can try this out by asking the model to act like a PhD level marine biology expert and explain how animals live near underwater volcanoes and the role of bacteria in their survival. Specifically tell it to add recent discoveries and the role of this research in developing new technologies. After using this prompt, you'll be impressed with how well O3 Mini explained tough scientific ideas. It won't just talk about how deep sea animals manage to survive near underwater volcanoes. It will also give a detailed look at how bacteria work together with these creatures, share new findings, and discuss how this research could lead to new technologies. This shows one of O3 Mini's main strengths. It doesn't just repeat information, but connects scientific ideas to their real world uses. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone interested in the latest science, O3 Mini is a great resource for grasping complicated subjects. Next, we have the three gods prompts. So let's form a prompt that will give us a perfect answer for this. O3 Mini is really good at taking tough problems and turning them into smaller, easier steps. The three gods prompt acts like a helpful teacher, showing all the steps and explaining each part of the thought process. This is super helpful for figuring out tricky puzzles. To start, alert O3 Mini about what you want to do by typing that the three gods riddle presents a challenge where you must determine the identities of three gods, one who always tells the truth, one who always lies, and one who answers randomly. You can ask them three yes or no questions, but they respond in their own language, where DA and JA mean yes or no, though you don't know which is which. The goal is to figure out which God is which by carefully structuring your questions. To solve this, we'll break down the process step by step, explaining our reasoning at each stage. We'll analyze the logic behind the possible responses and how to use them to identify each God correctly. What stands out is how it deals with the puzzle's tricky parts, especially the confusing DA and JA answers and the random God factor. This shows that O3 Mini can handle complicated logical challenges while making it easy to understand. Whether you love puzzles or are just starting to learn about logical reasoning. For the third prompt, we're going for the prompt that takes complicated philosophical questions and turns them into easy to understand analyses. By asking for different viewpoints and real life examples, you'll receive a detailed explanation of complex ideas that makes advanced philosophical thinking easier to grasp. You can try it out like this by telling it to observe if water can be seen as a living organism. Specifically instruct it to break down the answer using three approaches which are biological definitions of life, systems theory, 
in philosophical viewpoints. Instead of just brushing off the question with basic biology, the model created an interesting analysis that connected biological standards, systems theory, and philosophical viewpoints. In all these, how it combined technical ideas like emergence and self-organization with deeper philosophical thoughts, all while using clear examples to keep everything understandable, might stand the most for you. For the fourth prompt, we're going to tackle tricky word puzzles and riddles step by step. It's really useful because it not only asks for the answer, but also explains how to get there, which can help you solve similar puzzles later on. The riddle is talking about a single thing that appears in different words. It says this thing is at the start of eternity and at the end of time and space. It is also at the beginning of every end and at the end of every place. First, talk about how you plan to solve it. Then go through each hint and show how they link together. Finally, share the answer and prove it by explaining how it matches each part of the riddle. When testing this riddle guide, O3 Mini showed off its smart problem-solving skills in a cool way. Instead of rushing to the answer, it created a clear plan and carefully examined each hint. The impressive part of it is that it won't just give the answer, which is the letter E, it will also confirm its solution by explaining how it fits with every part of the riddle. This method shows that O3 Mini is great not only at solving puzzles, but also at teaching the logical steps needed to find the solution. For the last prompt, we'll check if O3 Mini could come up with a game design. This prompt shows how AI gaming systems function by simplifying complicated ideas into easy to understand parts. It's great for learning about current game mechanics or thinking of fresh concepts in game design. Prompt it to create a game that uses AI to learn from players. Outline the main game mechanics, explain how the AI adjusts to what players do, suggest ways to maintain balance in the game, and consider any surprising behaviors that might happen. Aim to make it fun and fair for everyone. Comparing the OpenAI's O3 Mini and DeepSeeker 1, the recent launch of OpenAI's O3 Mini has really shaken up the AI world, making it a strong rival to DeepSeek R1. Both of these are innovative language models aimed at improving reasoning and coding skills. Still, they have different designs, performance levels, uses, and how easy they are to access. In this comparison of OpenAI O3 Mini and DeepSeek RR1, we will explore these effects and also see how they perform in tasks related to logical reasoning, STEM challenges, and coding. Starting with the model comparison, OpenAI's O3 Mini is a smaller, faster version of the O3 model. It focuses on being quick and efficient while still keeping its smart reasoning skills. On the flip side, DeepSeek's R1 is an open source model that has gained popularity for its a great performance and affordability. The launch of O3 Mini shows that OpenAI is responding to the rising competition from open source models like DeepSeek R1. Then, from their architecture and design, OpenAI O3 Mini is based on the O3 design, but is tweaked for quicker responses and less need for computing power. It still has the same strong reasoning skills as the original, making it great for solving logical problems. DeepSeek R1 model comes from DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup, and is known for its smart reasoning abilities and cost effectiveness, making it a strong competitor to paid models. In terms of comparative analysis, when given something to analyze, both models successfully arrived at the correct answer by logically explaining their thought processes. OpenAI's O3 Mini began its analysis by focusing on the simplest and most straightforward clue. Throughout the process, the model clearly listed the clues it used and the insights it gained. While explaining its reasoning, it consistently double-checked and confirmed its conclusions, which made it more trustworthy. Although the final response was longer, it was very well articulated, making it easy for anyone to understand. On the other hand, DeepSeek R1 took a different route. Its explanation was presented in a conversational style, but it was quite lengthy. While the final response was well-organized and accurate, it didn't provide as much explanation as O3 Mini. It simply listed the clues and insights without much elaboration. OpenAI's O3 Mini and DeepSeek's R1 both have cool features for reasoning and coding, but they each have their own strengths. The O3 Mini is quicker and seems to understand prompts better than the R1. Plus, O3 Mini double-checks its thinking at every step, 
which makes it more trustworthy and precise. On the other hand, O3 Mini costs money, while DeepSeek R1 is free to use since it's open source, making it easier for people to access. For simple tasks that don't need advanced reasoning, DeepSeek R1 is a solid option. But if you need to tackle more complicated tasks and want faster answers, O3 Mini I is the way to go. So picking between these two models really depends on what you need, like how well they perform, how much you can spend, and if you need to customize them. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.